Hey businesses in Solano County, my name is Leo and today I want to talk briefly about all this information that we're getting reference to what businesses are reopening, the Roma to recovery and all that information, more from the perspective like what do you think about all this, right? And I'm talking more specifically to businesses in Solano County because this is where I do most of my business. What is your opinion about the information that you're getting? norms or guide that you get from the county, the city, um, compared to information that you get from the state, federal government, right? To, to me, in my opinion, is, is confusing. I I am on the website, on the web, on the Solano, Solano County website, the one that they put for Roma to reopening, and I didn't see it updated even after they had the meeting on um, May 12th. I know they're going to have another meeting uh, this Tuesday coming up on May 19. And I even heard part of the meeting. I haven't finished it yet, but I didn't hear nothing concrete to if either if we move to stage two or not. For example, here this website hasn't updated. It's still saying May 8th to uh, phase one and phase two and phase three that still not permitted to operate. Uh, yet I'm hearing uh, other businesses that saying that there's some restaurants with the dining areas already opening. My mom went driving uh, today and saw a lot of opening, open restaurant, uh, open businesses uh, towards the uh, Gateway Plaza in the Solano Mall area. But today is, t is Saturday. Now there's a lot of retail there, so perhaps all those are low risk. Um, but uh, it's, in my opinion, it's been a little bit, uh, lacking of information. I see the city of Alejo being more proactive, city of Acaville, city of Fairfax, the soon they're being very quiet. And in the county, I didn't hear nothing concrete on how they want to move forward. Now, keep in mind that the state is saying that we are on phase two. Oops, I have this in, change, change these to English. There's a, the state has a roadmap to recovery website. Um, so you can see, right, this is coming directly from the state website. And Say so we hear that we are on stage two, that which some include right restaurant dining session section, but also other businesses that you can come over here and check, um, and it includes guide. Uh, but but yet right, it's it, the 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 county hasn't updated their information. So you gotta keep in mind that whatever the strongest measure is, uh, either the city or, or or county, that was the one that has to be followed, not the not the state or the federal. So if the norms are stronger in at the city level or 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 uh, county level, those proceed. Um, those basically are the ones that have to be followed compared to the state or federal. Um, so in this case, right, more than likely it's uh, it, it's phase two are not allowed from what I understanding from this. Uh, there are guys that are that were uh, provided for those low risk businesses that are already go reopening and had to follow. Now the question is also for you: What is your opinion with all these norms and guys that a business has to follow? Um, is it worth it for your business to follow them? I, I know there are businesses that are, were totally closed, so they 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 will do anything to to reopen, including uh, following those guidelines. There are other ones that they are already open, for example, restaurants in the dining area. They're, they prefer not to open the dining area until who knows when and continue doing what they're doing because they're they're doing good with that, right? Uh, they're doing good with the way it is with takeout delivery. They, they still have a lot of orders coming in. Plus on top of that, obviously they pivoted a segment of their business to go online. That could be, for example, uh, selling one of the products online, selling uh, services online. Uh, so you, in my opinion, right, some businesses have to be created uh, and, and there's so many workshops that I attend in reference to different industry that how they pivot it. And, and that's something perhaps you can check for your own business, right? How to pivot a part of the set of your business or the whole business to be online. Um, not just for this situation right now, but for the future, right? Something that you can add right now, but something that can, can, can you can still utilize even after this uh, passes. It just basically creates, it could be very well an, an additional stream of income for your business. Um, so 
research those uh, in your industry, what sort of things, workshops are happening uh, that can help out. Uh, you can either start with your Chamber of the Commerce, your, um, there, there is an association related to your industry, right, that you can uh, go and connect with. Um, just to check those. Other stuff that I want to share with you today is the Vacaville Chamber will have workshops coming up starting May 18 that has to do with business reopening checklist advisory. Uh, Monday, they will be related to restaurants. Simply come to the uh, Chamber website uh, for Vacaville, go to events, go to calendar, uh, click, click over here on the restaurants to see what times they're going to be. Uh, on Tuesday, they'll have two for retail. Uh, on Thursday, they have one for offices and another one for restaurant. Uh, and then on, on Friday, they have another one for offices. Uh, this will be via Zoom, so it will be online. Uh, ready to register for the restaurant one and we'll register for the other ones, uh, just simply to stay on top of that. Um, also, just last, right? Another thing you want to share is uh, I, I do digital marketing. I offer digital marketing services to businesses here in Solano County. Uh, one of the things that I'm doing to help out is that it's very important to let your business, your customers know what you're doing, right? So if you do not have an online presence, you do not have a way to stay to, you do not have an online presence or would like to increase it. Uh, what I'm offering is free uh, business, local, local business listings, right? Meaning uh, we'll create your Yelp page, your Facebook page, your Google business page, including even a website for free. Now the website is very simple. That will, that will allow you to get started in reference to a way to get connected with your customers and have some type of online presence, at least a base, right? Now, um, this is only, I'm doing this for five businesses at the time due to limited resources. Um, so if you are interested in that, reach out, come to my website, digitaltrack.co. You'll find my contact information there. You see here my number. Um, and let's talk, right? Obviously, if you are a brand new business that don't know, you don't have your services, your product all written down yet. You don't have your prices in place. You don't have lower picture. You don't have customer base that going to be more tougher probably <clears throat> we'll have to say sorry but this is our established have customers please do call me if you uh, are in need of increasing your online presence either because you don't have one at all or the one that you have you would like to uh, some help reference to um, so what I'm looking for um, to make it a little bit better to make sure right it's uh, uh optimized for uh local uh, customer attraction basically so that's all for today uh have a great day bye bye